off, and John Mark not the fastest away by any means there, and prominent in the early stages as they settle down hard about, and Tribal Warrior out on the wide outside, then in along the inside is Magic North, and these are prominent in the early stages. And as they've covered about a furlong, Master Nile is up there with the leaders too, and Pitts fill in along the inside. Out on the outside is Tribal Warrior, and Gerald Martin is back at the end of the field at this stage, but as you can see, they are pretty well bunched together. The passing, now the long marker with Mr. Nile right up there in the front group in the center, and uh, Brother Phillips over on the left. Over on the right is Tribal Warrior. Arts and Sparks is just behind these, with Dickens Hill in, in the middle, and now as they come to the half mile marker it's master nile who's the leader with tribal warrior on the right next and magic north in along the left these are the three leaders just in behind the leaders on the outside is dickens hill going easily and going very easily back at the end of the field is lester piggott and gerald martin they're coming now to the three furlong marker and it's magic north who's the leader magic north in front dickens hill improving on the outside Brother Phillips in along the inside, and also coming through again is Mr. Mann, but Dickens Hill absolutely cruising up on the outside now, with Gerald Martin beginning to unleash a kind of a challenge from back behind, but it's Dickens Hill who's come on, and Dickens Hill taking up the running now, and he looks as if he's going to win very, very easily indeed. As they race down inside the final furlong, he's running green all over the place, but he's running straight now, and it's Dickens Hill going on to win, and win very impressively indeed. Dickens Hill, the winner of the Irish. 2,000 guineas, Brother Phillips is second, Mr. Nile comes next, and after that is Pittsville Arts and uh, Sparks, then comes Gerald Martin, after that is hard about, 